All right, guys, so we are uh, driving now to another spot here in uh, Chile. It's more in the south than the last one. And, uh, and uh, we're searching for Gramos de la Rosea in this habitat. So we will see if we find anything and uh, we'll continue our search in the field. Alte, look at it! Spinne! Nice! So awesome! This is an adult male of uh, Gramos de la Rosea and it's woo! It's quite fast actually and it's not that happy to see us but uh, it's our first Gramos de la Rosea and uh, yeah a male we will uh, get some close-up shots micro shots of it and uh, most likely there will be females here as well so see you then So yeah, this is the mail we just found uh, when we parked the car and now we'll try to mate it because we found an adult female's burrow. So we'll place it in front of the burrow and we'll see what happens. Maybe they will mate and we can document it here in the nature. Right after the mating, um, we now extracted the female from the burrow, just to show it a little bit closer. Um, actually, this is an adult female of Gramos de la Rosea, and you can really see why they're called Rosea. They have a shiny carapax with this purple pinkish glands, but they're also like a huge amount of red hair all over the body. So. Gramos de la Rosea actually got described in 1837 by Volcaner the first time at uh, the genus Migal. So the first genus where all tarantula species got placed in was called Migal because they simply did not know that there is such a huge diversity in tarantulas at that date. But uh, Gramos de la Rosea has quite a history in uh, taxonomy. So this species got at least eight or nine times described independently from different authors. So there is a Gramos de la Cala, there is a Gramos de la Spatulata, which is primarily like all the same species. But uh, because 
this species has such a huge distribution, these authors and researchers maybe thought that it is a different species. So, yeah, that's it. We are going to take some more macro video close-ups from the female itself and uh, continue searching then for maybe some smaller individuals like spiderlings or the freshly hatched exec. Yeah, so now we found an adult female, an adult male. We managed to mate them here in the nature and we also found a juvenile specimen. But uh, we're still continue searching in uh, to search for like other tarantula species who should live sympatrically with the uh, Ramosta la Rosea. So this is the typical landscape. It's uh, extremely dry here. There are a lot of uh, cacti actually and the typical place we find the uh, rosea living is underneath the rocks where they build deep um, burrows but this one here you can see is a, a silked burrow and what we always see is the hatched exex so actually most likely a few weeks ago most of the spiderlings emerged and uh, they just throw the egg sack out of the burrow. So we'll continue our search. Maybe we find some other species here and we'll let you guys know.
All right, so uh, we searched the area um, for Gramosta la Rosea and of course maybe some other specimens or species, but uh, we have not found any other species here. That's why we'll continue our search in a different place. So this will be the last shot. So here is another female Gramosta la Rosea. They're literally everywhere. Uh, we have easily found like eight or nine burrows and most of them are just underneath the rock so you can easily go and get them and take some pictures of them and what we also have found is the following namely a dead adult male so that's most likely going to happen quite often that the males will die here after they mate and uh, you'll find them laying around here in this area so that was it that's the end and uh, we'll see you guys next week with another episode most likely from Chile as well so see you then that was it that's the end of the video if you liked it please leave a comment below we'll answer all of your questions even the ones regarding your pet tarantulas and make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications on the left side so you always get an email when there is a new video from us so yeah see you in the next video then